yeah, I was really excited when that showed up in the second episode. I, I kind of thought to myself, I don't know if it's appeared in film or TV before, but I'm really glad I, it finally I, is because it's, it's the I perfect device. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Happy to put it on the map. For sure. Uh, so I think your accent's kind of New Yorker, but it's not, you know, it's not, uh, you know, Sylvester Stallone's uh, East Coast accent. Right. But as a New Yorker, Dwight is like a fish out of water in Tulsa. And we have a clip that alludes to that. So let's take a look. You don't need to put yourself through this thing. I want to be your friend. I want you to be my friend. I don't want to hurt your feet. Just open the safe, please. My God. How much you got there? Half a million. This is how it's going to work. I'm going to take 20% a week. Hey, we all got bosses. Even I answer to somebody. But in exchange, I'll protect you from the gangs. What gangs? And the law. This is legal. And if you get attacked by a locust, I'll spray him. Please, don't make me have to be an asshole about this. Okay? I protect you and you pay me a commission. Capiche? That's really all you're gonna take? What did I just say? We're partners. You make the money and I make sure you keep it. Do we have a deal? Do I have a choice? Absolutely not. I was so glad to see Martin Starr uh, have a you know pretty prominent role in the show as well. Uh, but you know, on top of a new location here, and this is right moments after he's arrived in Tulsa. What else is Dwight adjusting to? Well, you know, he's he's just gotten out of prison after 25 years too. So he's he's kind of a guy who just got out of a time capsule. So not only is he in a different place, that place is completely befuddling because there are things in it that he just doesn't even understand. He doesn't know what Uber is. He can't believe coffee costs five dollars a cup. Uh, virtual reality. There's there's no end of things that are making him scratch his head, and he's really trying to adjust and fit in. And he's also completely an alien in this place. So there's a lot of uh, a lot of things coming at this guy uh, at the same time. And he's also still required to earn a living, and he's got a very limited skill set in which to do that. He is still a gangster. Uh, he's a a kinder, gentler gangster than he was 25 years ago, but a gangster nonetheless in a place where that has never seen anybody like him. <laughs> 